Hello, everybody! This is OA2 coming at you with my episode review of episode 13 of Sword Art Online 2. Now, a lot of good stuff happened in this episode. Not good, good, but story good. So, um, yeah. Now, first off, this episode kicks off, of course, with Kirito and Death Gun's massive sword battle. And this is an epic battle. Kirito is being overpowered by Death Gun, which is woe because Kirito was the hero of, of Ironcrad, SAO. So for someone that powerful to be being overpowered in another game, swords is insane, which I thought was whoa, but still made it such a great fight. And on top of that, Kirito is finally, finally able to remember Death Gun's name in SAO. Yes, Death Gun was known as Red Eye Zazzy, which I thought was wonderful that we finally were able to figure it out and everything. And we had this massive battle, and then us, um, then Theon helps by sniping him from a distance and basically getting him to go move, which is being lined up, which is insane because she doesn't have a scope, which was brilliant that she was able to do this even without a scope. And finally, Kirito was able to give the final slash, cutting Death Gun in half, and they're like, how do we, Kirito's like, how do we end this? How did we, how do we end this? Because, and he says to uh, Sion that you can take me out, we can have the battle you always want. She's like, no. No, you had, you're all gamished here, I don't want to do this, I feel kind of cheap uh, taking you, fighting you now that you're all covered in wounds and everything from your battle with Death Gun. And in the end, they swap real world names, which is great. And, um, and they, where, she also tells him where she lives. And luckily enough, Kirito says, I'm diving near there. So that's wonderful to hear that they're near each other. So... And they have this, Sion comes up with this wonderful idea. She basically grenades them both, so they die instantly. And they both become the winners of, of Gun Gale Online's uh, Bell, Bullet of Bullets uh, tournament this time. Which is great, and she wakes up and looks around and tries to see if, she's looking around trying to figure is the um, other death gun in her room? Can she find him? And she's like, okay. Here's a doorbell. She sees her friend that we've seen from who likes her, who was in the game earlier. And I kind of could see what was coming, but what happened, which was brilliant, was the fact that he was one of death gun's other hands. And even deeper... Even deeper, he is the brother of the other Death Gun. Yes, he is the brother of the Death Gun Kirito defeated. He is the brother of Red Eyed Zazzy, who was in the Murder Guild. And he is fucking insane, because he is in love with Sidon, and he has gone fucking stalker crazy. Fucking stalker crazy. You can see it in his eyes as he loses it. And we figured out as we learned about him in this sex sequence, we now know how he got his hands on the um, muscle relaxant that would make your muscles not move and your heart and your lungs stop and everything. And the fact is, his family runs a hospital. So that's how he's able to get this hand on the fucking drug. Which I'm like, dude, this is brilliant. It answers so very much of my questions why he's willing to do it, how he's tied into Death Gun, where he gets his drugs, everything. And he's flipping out. He's like, I don't have to do it. We can be together. We can go to a, a virtual reality MMORPG. We can get married. We can have kids. And he is losing it. He is freaking losing it. He is going insane. 
And finally, Sinon makes a move, gets away, Kin uh, Kirito bursts through the door, kicks his ass, and the episode ends. And this was brilliant because I knew we had to have Kirito come save the day again. But the fact that it pulled, they were able to give us who these Death Gun characters were without really having to introduce any new characters was brilliant in my book. It was brilliant, and I loved it so very much. I loved it. I thought it was the best. I thought it was awesome because I did not see that coming. I didn't. He seemed like this nice guy who was her friend, who was willing to wait, who kind of have a thing for her. But the fact for him to be the other Death Gun, and the fact that the other Death Gun from uh, and, uh, uh, Sword Art was his brother was insanely brilliant. I love that. I thought that was the greatest, and I am so happy. And this was just awesome, and I loved it, and I'm so happy I, everything happened, and I'm really... It's going to be a 14th episode, it's, but will this be a 14th and just tie up the whole thing, or are they going to give us more and do more? I do not know. I think they're going to tie it up at 14, um, but still, this was brilliant. I loved it, and this was awesome nonetheless, and this was a great episode. Thus, this is the old boy 82 saying, if you like this video, please click like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. This is way too sunny. Oh.